In this video, I want to have a look at adding and subtracting fractions. So if we want to add or subtract fractions, they must have a common denominator. And if they don't, we're going to have to manipulate them so that they do. So let's have a look at some examples. Our first question is 2 sevenths plus 3 sevenths. Now because they both have that same denominator, what we can do is just add the numerator. If we've got 2 sevenths and we've got 3 sevenths, then all together we've got 5 sevenths. Now if we get a question like this one, so we've got a half plus 3 over 8, because they don't have a common denominator, we're going to have to manipulate them so that they do. So the first thing we need to do is find the lowest common multiple of 2 and 8. So off to the side somewhere, we can write down our times tables. So we'd have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and then keep going. And my multiples of 8 would be 8 and 16, and they'd keep going. And the first number in both of those lists or the lowest number, sorry, in both of those lists is that 8. So that's what we're going to make our common denominator. So this one already has a denominator of 8, so we're not going to have to change that. But for the half, we would have to multiply the 2 by 4 to turn it into an 8. So we'll have to do the same to the numerator as well. So that means that this first fraction, that 1 half, would become 4 over 8. And then we've still got our plus 3 over 8. And now that they have the same denominator, we can add the numerators. So we'd have 4 plus 3. So altogether, we have 7 eighths. Our next two examples are subtractions instead. So for question 3, we've got 9 tenths minus 3 tenths. Now again, because they already have a common denominator, we can just subtract numerators. So 9 minus 3, we'd end up with 6 tenths. Now in the denominator, again, they don't have a common denominator, so we're going to have to manipulate them so they do. So if we write down the factors, sorry, the multiples of 6, we'd have 6, 12, 18, 24, and it would keep going. The multiples of 4 would be 4, 8, 12, and I can stop there because we've got 12 in both lists. That's what our lowest common multiple is. So we're going to change these. They both have a denominator of 12. So if we have a look at this first one, we'd have to times 6 by 2 to get to 12. So we'll have to do the same thing to the numerator. So this 5 over 6 would become a 10 over 12. And then we've got a minus. And if we have a look at our second one, 4 times 3 would get us to 12. So we need to do the same thing to the numerator as well. So that would become 3 over 12. And then because they have the same denominator, we can subtract. So 10 minus 3 would give us 7 twelfths. So let's have a look at adding and subtracting fractions. 